Hello. I chopped all my hair off. I don't even know what to say, honestly. And I didn't record the process. There's no tutorial. I literally did this last night at like 11 p.m. It was half planned, half spontaneous. So if you guys saw my last vlog, I think I had said at some point, I'm kind of tempted to like do a jaw length bob again. Because I've had my hair this short, but it's just been several years. With summer coming, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like feeling a little short bob. There's a crap ton of dry shampoo in it right now, and I like curled it with a flat iron. So there's some pieces that are like still a little more curled than others. So it looks like all crazy right now. I am going to wash it probably tonight and then like style it fresh. That way we can both get a good look at it together. Already just having it off my neck and shoulders feels so good. So it's gonna be so nice for summer, so quick and easy to blow dry. I love it just like tucked behind my ears, like so chic. But my favorite is doing like a half up with a little claw clip. And then have these pieces down in the front. So cute. Like, this is my favorite. So I'm going to probably be styling it like this a lot. And I'm excited to see how it looks with a full face of makeup and, like, a cute outfit and, like, you know, done up. Because I feel like right now, especially in my pajamas with this robe on, I'm feeling kind of mom-ish. Not that I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just, you know, like, it's just a little bit of a different look. But it is currently Monday, it's 12.30. I got up pretty early this morning and I edited and posted my lash lift and tint tutorials. And I was answering some emails, Instagram messages, all that kind of stuff. And now I'm kind of starting to hit a wall a little bit. You know when you get to that point where you're like, okay, I could kind of use a second coffee right now. But then I end up getting like kind of jittery and then I just feel like I have a really hard time focusing on anything because I'm just like all over the place hyped up on caffeine and then I end up crashing a few hours later so I'm about to take a magic mind shot I discovered these a couple months ago and these have been my saving grace especially on the days when I'm working from home and I have to stare at a computer all day it's a mental performance shot so it boosts energy and focus elevates mental clarity and helps you crush procrastination it's 100% safe, all the ingredients are third-party tested, and there's over 200 scientific studies behind each ingredient in these shots. I've been trying to cut back on caffeine the last few months because I used to always just rely on it in order to just function and have the energy to get through my day, but the issue with that is then my sleep would suffer because I'd be hyped up on caffeine all day and I'd be drinking it like later than I should have. And then I would get kind of jittery and I would just have a hard time focusing. And I felt like it was just taking a toll on my nervous system. I just felt like very stressed out. And as someone that deals with anxiety, I have to really be careful with what I take because I find that when I am hyped up on caffeine, it just makes my anxiety worse. So this has honestly been like the perfect solution for me. It's not a coffee replacement. You can take these shots alongside your coffee. It's giving me that energy, but keeping my mind calm and focused. After taking it a few days in a row, I really could tell a difference. Like, oh my God, I just feel like my mind is very clear. It's also 100% risk-free to try because if you are not 100% satisfied with your purchase and aren't seeing results, you can get a full refund within 100 days of purchasing. And they ship internationally to over 65 countries. So if you'd like to try out Magic Mind for yourself, I will have a link in the description. Use my code SAMVAY20 to get 56% off your first subscription for the next 10 days. And thank you so much Magic Mind for sponsoring this portion of the video and helping to support my channel. I'm gonna make myself something to eat so I can give this, you know, a few minutes to kind of kick in and work its magic. So I will check in with you later. Tuesday, it's 9.30. I don't have to go into work till noon today, so I have a little bit of time to just have a slow morning, 
take my time getting ready. I sound all congested because my allergies, like I don't know, I woke up, I keep having to blow my nose. So I'm going to take an allergy pill. Hopefully that will help. And how funny, I washed my hair yesterday, blow dried it, swooped everything under. So I went to bed with it all looking like this side. And then I woke up this morning and this side is just flipping out. I got an update yesterday about my salon suite. It was like a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, I assumed this was going to be the case. So if you're new here or you haven't been keeping up with my vlogs or my Instagram, I've been working as a commissioned hairstylist my entire career and I decided that I'm finally ready and really want to just go off on my own and be independent so I got a salon suite a little room one chair one shampoo bowl just me and my clients like one-on-one -on -one. originally because the building that my suite is going to be in is brand new construction I was originally told that the construction was supposed to be done by June 1st. I'm not owning anything, like I'm owning my business, but like the space itself, I'm gonna be renting. So the owners that I'm paying my sweet rent to are supposed to be getting the keys June 1st. She told me by like the second week of June, that's when they were planning on having everybody move in. I don't know, I just feel like anytime there's new construction, like at my old apartment, when they added the new gym and the new pool, building everything was pretty fast. Like they put it up quickly, but then it took a while and there were so many delays before we could get in there and start using the space because there's things they had to get approved and they had to put the furniture in there and make sure everything was all good and perfect and whatever. So I don't know. I was like, second week of June would be great, but like, I don't know. And then, I, we have to all get state board to individually come inspect our rooms. Anyway, I got an update yesterday, which I'm so glad to be like kept in the loop. But she said drywall is up, flooring is going in soon, furniture will start getting delivered on May 28th, and the detailed decor can start shortly after painting is finished. Our builder is hoping for a certificate for occupancy by June 19th. So we can allow everyone in to decorate, move in, and begin business by July 1st. If there's an earlier date, I will let you know. I guess that's what the, the delay is, is the certificate for occupancy. So I don't know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything will go smoothly and there's not too much of a delay. And it was a little bit of a bummer because I like really had my mind set on like sometime around my birthday, maybe I'd be moving my stuff in and then like week after, I would start taking my clients and once you know too that you're like leaving a place you just are so over it and you're just so ready for your new space and now i'm kind of like oh it's a bummer that you know i have to push it off a few more weeks but i'm trying to look on the bright side and i'm like you know what staying commission a little bit longer means it's less money technically like I guess it depends how you look at it, right? Like I'm splitting all of the money that I am making on services. So like in a way I'm kind of paying, but if I have a slower week, I don't have to have the stress of like, oh my God, well, I still have to pay my rent no matter what. Am I gonna be able to afford everything this week? Or like now I can take the week of my birthday, I can just like take that week off if I want to. So it's kind of nice, I feel like, I can kind of slow down, especially now, like I have everything ready to go as far as like the business end stuff, website, LLC filing, bank account, appointment system, point of sale system, like all of that is set up and it's ready. So I can kind of chill now a little bit before I dive into like real hustle mode. because I lost track of time. But I'm excited to do my makeup today and style the short hair. And I really like my outfit today and it's really sunny out. So you know those days when the weather's just really nice, you have your hair and your makeup done, you have a cute outfit that you feel good in and it's like, you just, it's gonna be a good day, you know? That's what today is gonna be. Today I have three clients 
but it should be a pretty like easy smooth day and no surprises because nobody is new i'm technically going to be double booked with the first two which i don't like to do but this i feel totally comfortable with doing because my first client is coming in for a Malibu CPR treatment, which is a clarifying color remover treatment. She came in several weeks ago for a consultation and a haircut. And at that point we talked about her color and what she wants to do. And her hair right now is an artificial dark brown and she wants to go a little lighter and add some dimension, but it's been through a lot. It previously was bleached, then she put a red over it, then a brown a few times, and then finally the last color she did was like a dark brown. And it, she said it just came out a little too dark for what she wanted. So I told her the first step would be doing this treatment to just pull out as much of that dark color as we can and just get the hair like nice and clarified and clean. And then we can kind of see what we're left with, what the condition of her hair feels like. I can do a test strand, but that treatment, you basically just let it process under heat for 45 minutes. And it doesn't do anything to like the base, her natural color. Whenever I do this on people, like they're just sitting there the whole time. So I'm like, well, that's something that's super easy to double book because it's not even like with color um or you know highlights where you need to be checking on it periodically to make sure it's not over processing like this you literally just set a timer and leave it so while that's doing its thing i have another client coming in for highlights and then my third client is coming in to just she's one of my friends and she just wants to get her money pieces touched up so that should be very quick and easy and i should end up having like an hour gap between client two and client three. So that'll be perfect time for me to like clean up, eat lunch. So that way, hopefully once I finish my third client, I won't have too much cleaning to do and I can just leave. So I just kind of fixed this section of my hair a little bit. It seems like it just wants to keep flipping out, <laughs> but um, whatever, so. And I was gonna do like a half up kind of thing, but I actually just really like, especially with this outfit, I feel like doing the half up, like there, it just felt like a little bit too much. So I really am just liking it parted down the middle and then tucked behind the ears. And I put some chunky gold hoops and I love this outfit. This denim corset top is from Target. I love it, it is so flattering. It just like cinches the waist so nicely. And then these jeans are from H&M. I love the full denim on denim. I forgot to get a before clip of client number one's hair, but the first thing that I did was used my texturizing shears to get a few clippings of her hair from different spots around her head to do a test strand. Then I mixed up the Malibu CPR treatment. You literally just mix it with water. It's essentially like a vitamin C clarifying treatment. So I washed her hair with clarifying shampoo a couple times, then applied the treatment, put her hair in a processing cap, let it process under heat, and then I applied some lightener to those test strand pieces and put that in a foil so that that could process while her treatment was processing. During that time, I had client number two come in. I applied her highlights. I didn't get any clips of that, but then while Client two's highlights were processing. I shampooed and blow dried client number one. So this was the after of her hair. I know you didn't see the before to do a comparison, but it did lighten up quite a bit. Basically, all this treatment does is it just kind of fades the color a little bit faster, like the same way it would fade naturally over time like washing it with clarifying shampoo and hot water. So we were both really happy with the results. Now we have a really nice, clean, more even canvas to work with. And then her test strand held up really well with the lightener. So that's a really good sign. Not only did it lighten well, but it also, like the integrity stayed intact. Then back to client number two, it's time to pull out her foils and this was the final result of her hair. It was just, you know, a maintenance appointment, so just a full highlight retouch 
And then I had about an, a little over an hour of a break. So I ordered some Greek food. So good. I got a gyro bowl with cilantro, hummus, and pita. And then this was my last client of the day. I did her highlights a couple months ago. So she just wanted to retouch her money piece and her face frame, just around her face. So this was the after of her hair. It really drives me crazy that I didn't like evenly part her hair <laughs> like that part is driving me nuts but you can see it's nice and bright around her face super easy like mini in between kind of appointment and I also did a little tiny bit of a root tap to like further blur her grow out but yeah so pretty I just got home from work I am so excited I got a couple packages that I just picked up from the mail room and the first one is my new merch. I ordered a sample because I just wanted to make sure. It's a design that I have already done before, but I just kind of like tweaked it a little bit. I'm making the designs myself and I'm picking, like I have limited options that I can select as far as like the items themselves and the color of the items, but the designs themselves, like the prints that go on the pieces, I'm doing myself, I always have, but the website that's actually like doing the printing and selling and that you are ordering from is a little bit different. Um, I've always used Teespring in the past because that's just kind of like the, you know, like basic one that I feel like everybody used back in the day, but I am testing out Bonfire this time and I immediately am so impressed with the quality. Like this sweatshirt feels so much softer. Oh my God, this is like so soft. I could live in this. This is the design and I know it's kind of hard to read on this color, but I kind of like that. Like I like that it's, subtle and in person like you can definitely see it well but it doesn't it's not as bold it doesn't stand out which i like but it's all the different hair textures curl patterns it says it's all good because it's all good and all hair is good all hair types textures curl patterns all hair is good hair and that's what it used to say it used to have this same um image and it said all hair is good hair, which I still love, but I thought like, it's all good. I don't know, I just like that. So change it up a little bit. And yeah, this sweatshirt feels so, so soft and it came out really good. Like the print, it looks really good. It's good quality. So I am excited. I always wanna like test pieces out first, make sure I like the quality and that like the print and everything looks good before I launch it, obviously. Dossier sent me a package because you guys know I work with them pretty often. They also sent me one of their new products. Um, it's one of their original scents. You know, Dossier makes replicas of brand name, popular perfumes and colognes, but they also started releasing their own original scents and they just came out with a new one. This is Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut and it's part of their genderless collection. Ooh, that smells familiar, but I can't put my finger on what it reminds me of. Oh, you know what? It almost reminds me a little bit of Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. Like it definitely has a little bit of that, like the smoky sweet, but then also like a masculine, I don't even know how to describe it. What are the notes? The top notes are salted caramelized hazelnut accord. Middle note is lavender, violet, and orange flower. And then the base note is patchouli, vetiver, suede, and ambroxan. And then I also got some more rediffusers from them because I love their rediffusers. They just look so like clean and classic and they last a really long time. So I got Woody Sandalwood, which is one of my favorites. And then finally, I have been waiting for them to do this. They released an Ambery Saffron rediffuser, which Ambery Saffron is the dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540, which is my favorite. And I'm pretty sure it's the number one most popular fragrance on Dossier. So I was 
surprised that they didn't already have it in a reed diffuser and now they finally do and i'm so excited so i am saving both of these for the salon suite but yeah i'm gonna go take benny out for his little nighttime potty break i had a pretty big lunch and i still have some leftovers of the salad i was eating they put so much chicken in it so i might just finish this little bit as my dinner find something to watch on netflix and call in a night so i will see you in the morning currently 6 30 on thursday sorry i didn't vlog anything yesterday yesterday and today basically have just been like the same kind of thing i've just been home the whole time and i keep going back and forth between cleaning around the apartment and then editing and doing computer work i've been editing this vlog that you're currently watching actually and then i realized oh okay i ran out of footage now so i should probably check in for a while like at least the last couple of months I want to say I have just felt really behind like I just I felt like I wasn't able to fully get caught up on anything and especially with like cleaning and things around the apartment I don't know if I have ADHD but I have a hard time just sitting down and completing a task in one sitting unless it's something that I'm really like passionate and excited about but if it's something that I'm just like, ugh, don't really feel like doing, I will do a little bit of it, then move on to something else, then kind of come back, then do something else, you know, like I have to kind of bounce around and just knock it out in little chunks at a time. And that's what I've been doing, cleaning my apartment. And I always will start in the kitchen and the living room area. That always ends up clean, but then like I never end up getting around to like my bedroom and my master bathroom like i had a lot of clean laundry that's just been sitting around in this basket for like a couple weeks i like flip-flopped and i started in the master bathroom which is what i usually leave for last and i worked backwards over the last couple days and it worked out better for me so now my apartment is completely clean and it feels so good i'm like finally Finally, I feel caught up and I'm getting caught up on my work. So that feels really good. Tomorrow I have the day off. So I'm trying to get everything done by tonight. So that way I can like actually just take the day tomorrow. Because I, I know I always say like, oh, I have the day off or today's my day off. Usually what I mean by that is like I don't have to go into the salon, but I'm still working. I just get to stay home. I have a hard time, like especially because I love what I do and it's like a creative field and it's like, you know, I'm sharing my life. So like the lines between work and life are very blurred. So like I have a hard time turning it off and being like, okay, I'm just gonna be lazy today and not do anything productive. But I really want to give myself that tomorrow. But I mean, like what an amazing job that I can sit in my bed while I'm working. Oh, and I've been wearing my merch hoodie all day and it is so comfortable. Like it is so soft. Let me back up and show you. So I'm sure I'm 5'2". Normally in most things I wear a medium, but I got this in an extra large so it would be longer and baggier so if i want to wear it with leggings in the cooler months or even in the summer like i love to wear it like how i have today wearing it with bike shorts or you can even kind of hike up the shorts and like almost wear it kind of like a sweatshirt dress like i just love like the oversized fit i think that you guys are gonna love this stuff i i really hope that you do but i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so i can finish editing it if you're not already following me on instagram go give me a follow on my hair page at styled by sam they if you want to keep up with me 
in between when I upload because I've been trying to stay pretty active on there and like posting on my stories a lot and stuff. And big thank you again to Magic Mind for sponsoring a portion of this vlog. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to save on your first order. But that is going to be it for this vlog. Hopefully I will see you really soon in my next one. Bye.